Hey guys, welcome to the channel. While we are busy working on the firmware update project for all the Dynaflips DAC, and I think the firmware update project was a pretty successful one where our customer appreciate the effort of Windshine Audio and Dynaflips to roll out the firmware update for older DAC as well as the new DAC at free of cost to the customer. While we are busy working on the firmware, the hardware engineer of Dynaflips did not stop. They are working on a hardware revision for the DAC and this is what brings us to the unboxing video today. Today, I'm going to unbox this new DAC from Dynaflips and show you what are the improvements done to this DAC right away. And by looking at this box, you might have guessed that this is something small. It is an Aries 12-1. It was released a couple of days ago and we, released, we received this a couple of days ago as well. I unbox one of them and take a look inside what are the hardware changes and I'm ready to give you an unboxing video for this particular unit. This is the shipment from Dina Frips. It comes with double box. I have already removed the outer box and this is what the inner box looks like. It's a pretty simple box that comes with foam protection, the unit itself, and a very simple power cord for you to power up this DAC. Without further ado, let me just unbox it right in front of the camera for you. Flip this guy open and you will see there's a very thick foam to protect the unit from its treatment to you. And it comes with, this is what it looks like internally. Ta-da! And you see a color that is different from the rest of the Aries NU or the Aries 2 DAC. It comes with two colors. This is the silver color model. A basic power cord at this compartment right here and a plastic cover to cover the unit. So you know that this unit is new, shipped from us or Dina Phillips directly to you. All right, just let me pop this guy open and uh, no, just let me fit this guy and take this unit out. It comes with a plastic bag with a marking on top. Uh, this is a code that we use um, internally for each day shipment from us to you. Plastic bag to wrap around this and uh, pretty much it. Nothing else inside the box except that there's a certificate of authenticity right underneath the compartment to house the power cord. Let me just put this box aside safely. Okay. Okay, this is how the unit looks like in silver color. I'm pretty sure you are interested to see it without the plastic bag. So just let me peel all the scotch tape away. And I'll be able to see this silver color for the first time in person. The other unit that we received a few days ago was a black color one. So we waited the silver color for a bit longer. Hang on a second. It's difficult to remove this by using one hand. Okay, it's a pretty big plastic bag to house this unit. And let me just pull this plastic bag aside. And this is how the Aries 12-1 looks like in silver color in person. Uh, several customers ask whether will the Aries 12 come with silver color. In the past, we can't do it because the housing was made by sheet metal in the past for Aries 12. The sheet metal is bent into shape, powder coated in black color. Powder coating silver color will not be as good as aluminum chassis. So the Pontus Venus Terminator DAC is made of full aluminum chassis and we are able to offer two color choices, black and silver. It is one of the most requested color for DAC size like the Aries 12. So Dina Frips and Windshine Audio discussed this and decided to have this Aries 12-1 made with full aluminum chassis. Yes, you hear me right. The front panel, the top cover, the side panel, as well as the back panel are full aluminum blocks. They are made from full aluminum and can be anodized in black color and silver color. These are the color available for Aries 12-1. Being full aluminum, you can expect a better build quality, a more solid feeling, as well as heavier and more substantial weight to this 
already very good average 12 BAC so it works really substantial and there are some changes to it uh, I will not be opening up this unit because opening up this unit takes some time in this video I have the black color one right beside me and I already have the top cover open and ready to show you what is inside the unit here we go the black color average 12-1 just for comparison's sake, I'll just stack this guy together and show you the black and silver finishing of these two average 12-1 BAC. So the most obvious changes to this average 12-1 compared to the average 12 is the chassis. Now the chassis is made of full aluminium, other dyes in black or silver color. If you flip it to the back, pretty much the same thing, but before I forget, let me take my faithful pointer for my daughter and she always asks me to use this for presentation. Uh, it's a pretty cute one and I like it a lot. Right, so this is the back of the Irish 12-1. Comes with pretty much the same thing. XL output is the True Balance XL output, RCA single ender output, one coaxial input, one optical input, one HDMI i squares input, as well as one USB input. The changes that you spotted will be this little socket at the back here. It is covered with a piece of uh, advisory sticker right now. Uh, you, if you want to use it, please read the sticker first. It says that please check the voltage switch at the bottom to make sure this unit is selected to the voltage in your country. So if you are in the US, please choose 120 volts for this unit. But if you are in Europe, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, or Australia, and there are several other countries that uses 240 volts, you need to switch the voltage switch at the back to 220 or 240 in order to use the unit in your country. Before plugging in the power cord to this unit, of course you need to peel this sticker off. This is how the IEC power socket look like for the Irish 12-1. This is not a cast cost cords cutting measure. There's no switch for this power socket. There's no fuse inlet as well for this power socket. This is custom made by Dina Frips in accordance to Dina Frips standard. So just to summarize, this power socket is made by Dina Frips in-house, uses OCC copper. It's a high purity copper that Dina Frips uses to make this power connector. So this is one of the improvement on top of the chassis that is made of aluminium now. And internally, this is how the Aris 12 1 look like. It's pretty much similar to the Aris 12, except that now the power socket without the fuse and the fuse is relocated to this point here. I think I should put this Aris 12 on top of the table so that you guys can see better and I can maneuver better as well. So the fuse is located internally and it is the 2M 5x20mm glass fuse. You may replace this fuel to tune the BAC as and when you like it. But of course, you need to pop out the top cover before you can assess the fuse. The fuse, goes, um, the fuse will uh, provide a safe... <laughs> Sorry, my tongue is staggered. After the fuse, the power is sent to this O-Core transformer. Again, this O-Core transformer is made in-house by Dina Frips, and the O-Core transformer step down the voltage to this circuitry here. This circuitry or this board for Aries 12 one is the same for the Aries 12. There are several components, minor components upgrade in this main board here according to Dina Frips to further elevate the sound quality. And this then and you spotted this. USB receiver uh, module here. It is the same as Aries 12. It is replaceable. So just in case there's something wrong with the USB module or in the future there are some upgrades available for this USB module, you can always pop this USB module up and replace it with a newer model. All right, I think that's pretty much about it for Dina Phipps Aries 12-1 internal. And you might ask why we released this Aries 12-1 so soon before, hmm, it's about six months or seven months before we released the Average 12 in last year, November, I think. It is the paradigm shift that Dina Frips think 
they should do it sooner or later to make way of the average 12 to average 12 dash 1 for the upcoming Dinafrib streamer in this size and this form factor. Yes, you hear me right. Dinafrib is releasing a streamer in the near future. I wouldn't want to give you a timeline yet at the moment and because this is still under R&D, nothing is firm for the timeline yet. But the streamer that Dinafrib is releasing in the near future will come with two colors, silver and black, and it is in aluminum chassis. And we want to pair this streamer with the very popular Aries 12 DAC. So we decided that in this production batch, we should make the Aries 12 in full aluminum chassis like this. So it will match well aesthetically with the upcoming streamer that I already have one with me. This is a prototype that we received several, several months ago. And this is not the final production. Uh, there are some major changes to this streamer. But this is how the streamer look like, or how the streamer will look like in the near future. So this is made of full aluminum in black color. And because Dinafrib decided to make the streamer in this form factor in full aluminum chassis, so we thought it is necessary for the very popular Aries 12 to have the full aluminum chassis and available in silver and black color as well. So this is why we made this decision to standardize the chassis of the streamer as well as the Aries 12 DAC. And this is how the back of the Aries 12, not, not the Aries 12, this is how the back of the streamer look like. Of course, you will expect several inputs that is very, mm, very minimum for a streamer. R2S, AES EBU, Core XL, and optical output, as well as what Dinafrib believe, the 45 and 49 megahertz clock input. Again, this is a prototype that I received several months ago, and this is not the final version. The streamer portion is already replaced with some other solution and it will not be looking like this but this gives you an idea why we made this shift from Aries 12 to Aries 12 dash 1 hmm, less than a year. I know this may be an upsetting news for those customers who purchased the Aries 12 and I did discuss with Dinafrib to potentially offer the chassis upgrade for the Aries 12 customer. Uh, this is still in discussion, nothing has been firmed out yet. If we ever offer this chassis upgrade for the average 12 customer, I would imagine there will be a fee involved of the chassis, of course, as well as some of the changes, some of the components that you need. For example, the IEC inlet, a new power board, as well as, hmm, I think that's about it. The chassis, the IEC inlet, as well as the power board, is all you need to have your average 12 upgraded to this aluminum chassis. But the cost of this has not finalized yet and the shipping cost of this has not finalized yet as well. If you were to replace your Aries 12 with a new chassis as well as all these new components, you will need to have soldering skill. You need to be electronically trained in order to do this work because there are some soldering involved. So this, I hoped, bring a little bit of good news to customers who purchased the Aries 12 in the past. And also, as you guys know, we are working on a firmware update for all the DAC and the Aries 12 1 comes with a new firmware that we think it will suit most of the customer taste and system. This Aries 12 comes with a new firmware version at, th at this moment in June, uh, today is 8th of June. 2023 is version 1.8. We will be rolling out this version 1.8 firmware for Aries 12 DAC as well. So if you own a, an Aries 12 DAC, you will be able to upgrade the firmware of the Aries 12 DAC to the version 1.8 and enjoy the new sound quality. We will also be publishing the original firmware in the firmware update link so that you can always roll back to the older firmware as and when required. So all in all, I think this is the value added service 
that Rinshine Audio and Dina Phillips provide to our loyal customer to update the firmware of the DAC to bring it to the current version. Alright, I think I have covered most of the stuff that I want to cover in this video. So if you like my channel, if you like the content of the video that I talk about, do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.